Thanks for staying with us. We're still discussing uh, our views on the elections and the effects um, on Nigeria. And so let me come back to our guest before you take some comments on social media. Let's focus a bit on immigration. Um, people are, some Nigerian Americans are happy for Trump because they believe that it's to restrict other Nigerians from coming to America to enjoy the American really? dream. <laughs> and others, yes, yeah, some Nigerians are like, yes, block the gate. I've entered, let block the gate from the others. Others are saying it should stop right. other loved ones from coming to America. And they're really scared of the immigration policies Trump might come up with going forward uh, because people have seen that he, as you said, is conservative, is Republicans, they always close their borders. How do you think Nigerians should begin to respond to this possibility in the future? So, so, so let's, let's make all, all Nigerians, government, civil society, citizens, we must put together to first understand there is no place like home. Even when you live in those nations, Nigerians that live abroad can agree you are not treated on the same level with every others. Because... Mm. Uh, uh -oh. Is that American connection? Unfortunately, <laughs> network is bad in the US. Let's come back. Let's take a few comments. We'll come back yeah, to Yeah, so we have <laughs> comments. Someone said that um, her. Yeah, today says my brother's son is a medical doctor in the United States. Doing what he knowing what he achieved in four years is mind-boggling. Mm. Now, when he sends chicken dollar and you change it to naira, you're instantly a millionaire. She also spoke about the fact that um, life could be unfair sometimes. Kamala um, is sitting as a okay. Is is she's is comparing UK and the US, so it's not really very. Okay, let me tell you, I'm told he's back. Um, sir, are you there, Mr. Chukuma? Yes, I am. I am. I am. Go, go ahead. You are saying. Okay, so 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 there is no place like home. We must collectively fix Nigeria to work for us all. Only at that point you cannot have only people with serious business with the U.S. that we foster our national interest visiting those nations, not to take any how kind of jobs. The jobs that people do as nationals when they go into another nation represents their nation. Mm -hmm. It tells the story about them. If Nigeria, if as a country, we strengthen our foreign policy such that if as a Nigerian, if I must go to the US, then it has to be as an expert to go there maybe as a professor, lecturing in their university, presenting the good image of my country, or working in their health sector, right? Or in research, public policy, sat things that puts Nigeria in the good light. Some nations have been able to do that significantly. But when you have a situation where most Nigerians go to some of those countries and do like some of the jobs, right, that ordinarily they will not do in their own country, then it doesn't put our nation in the correct light. Right. But the way we can change it is not maybe through activism. It is actually through policy. Fixing the things that need to be fixed. Okay. Because right. until... Until we get to that point, we are many Nigerians, we will not feel the need and we will not see it as a miracle when somebody gets a visa to the U.S. Mm, Come on. Testimony time. I'm, I mean, some, some pastors pray for visa, like visa anointing. You come with your passport. Or, I mean... Come on. Um, and we share testimonies. In the same world with yourself. We get right? testimonies, sir. So, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me take this yeah. call uh, from Ben. He's calling my number. Thanks for calling. You're live. Yeah, good morning, lady. Good morning, Ben. Yeah, please, I want to make some input. Please, go ahead. Uh, in connection with uh, uh, Trump and Harris, there are some areas, you know, I would like you to touch on. Like, you know, Harris, if I try to compare Harris with Clinton, it's a different game. Clinton is a force for her own right. They also don't know much about Harris. And so Biden picked Harris, Harris because of a reason. And nobody expected that Biden will step down and allow Harris to take over her investment. That's one issue. Then the other aspect, the area of maybe this issue about maybe transgender and uh, all these uh, gender reassignment, <laughs> a lot of people are getting concerned about that issue yeah. in America. Yeah. And these are an ongoing thing with Democrats from yeah. Obama, all these different. So many of the cooperants in America, Christians, are not comfortable with that aspect. Yeah. And this is an area yeah. Trump is hammering on. That issue needs to be addressed. Maybe yes. we are just talking about maybe how is a female. It's not about issue about being female. Many people don't know much about Harris. Yeah. 
They know Trump is there. This is Trump. This is where he stands up. The terrorists, we don't know how. That's what you said. Mm -hmm. Where he stands up, many issues. He's just here or there. Thank you very much, Ben. I think Tokwe alluded to that fact that, yes, Trump, uh, Harris is not like a, there's not a politician like um, Hillary was. And also, huh. the, the people really did not know where she stood. Where she, yeah. stood. she was a bit you need to here stand and there. For but there's a point he made that i like us to talk about. Because the Christian dumb actually came out in mass for Trump. And many of them, one of the rationale was the fact that we understand the LGBTQ. We understand everybody has a right to be who they choose to be. When you start bringing this matter to the schools, mm. that's where you've crossed the line. We can respect you for your choices as an adult. We can live with you in a society and respect that you have human rights just as we have. But the moment you start bringing it to school, you've crossed the line. And I think that's where people said, you know what, you've taken this thing too far. And that's where many of the Christian um, communities rose up and said, we cannot bring back the Democrats in this One matter. of the most advocates for Trump in this campaign was Bologna Elon Musk, Arbitrary Bologna. <laughs> and he used this platform hugely. I follow him. Yeah. And daily notifications on the tweets. All the people who campaigned for Hillary were brought down on X. He would take a post about every artist, drag, and he was even paying. Yeah. So if we talk about vote by Yapo. Yes, yeah, so. Yes, he was paying people <laughs> to cast their votes for Trump mm. because he was affected. He has a son who is no longer his son. He's a daughter, and yeah. his family is estranged because of this kind of advocacy. So he stood for what he wanted. America spoke loudly yeah. against the LGBT in this election. Yeah. I think there was a like female artist, yeah. I can't remember her name right now, that was speaking against, that was supporting Harris against Trump. And I think she was pulled out on Twitter, too. I'm trying to remember mm -hmm. her name. I remember. Mm -hmm. So, any more comments? Well, there was Jennifer Lopez and yeah. Cardi B, all of them. We were dealt with. Um, yes. A lot of people talked about the power of social media in this mm. particular um, election. It's so similar and to these, ours, man. Yes, now, of there course. Was like, a lot of similarities. Of course. And, that's what is exciting and, me. Yeah, and the fact that an ex, now, when it was Twitter, it almost believed that Twitter played a major role in that yeah. Biden, Donald Trump yes. election. So he proved that social media is such a powerful force. Yeah. But the second thing I found interesting with this was um, is Donald Trump's last son, Barron. They talk about how his impact as a Gen Z helped his father connect with his okay. generation. Yeah. He got him on podcasts that, you know, Gen Zers, mm. you know, tend to listen to. And I'm like, okay, that's going forward for us. Gen I Z really to the to... table. Bring Gen Zs on the table. They know what they're talking about. You want to go back to what yeah. said <laughs> about the vision. You see, if he's talking to Gen Zs, he's selling a vision of the American dream. Mm -hmm. If he's talking to young people, to the Christian, the Muslim community, even the Muslims stood up for him. Mm -hmm. I saw they like, voted for mm -hmm. him in He was a Gaza was speaking. He, where, he was mm -hmm. speaking, saying that he would he that what he Israel is doing. Mm -hmm. in he spoke against take, it vehemently. One of the classes I take um, online is a Sheikh from Palestine. And he spoke loudly. There, there was hardly a vote. So you see the. That was why the margin is huge. America is speaking up against a lot of ills. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, you have an agenda in the Middle East that you're using Israel for. The people don't want to be a part of it. The killing is huge. It's too much. And all the back, back and forth side talk is not working. Mm. So they spoke with these elections. Nobody went there. That's where they're tired of we are doing something. We are the, yes, we are human, rights, we are the human rights based dramatic, sectors of the world. Dramatic efforts. But when it comes to human rights, you start to deviate it. Yeah. You have human rights for, for, for um, just... what is it called in Russia, the other country, Ukraine, Ukraine. but you do not have for, for Gaza. For and Gaza. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's just is... quite interesting. I mean, what, I mean, as I said, my excitement is just that we had a very, our nation was at the brink last year. Mm. I was scared. Many was of us really were close. really worried mm. about our unity, mm. how politicians use social media against us, how they tore us apart with religion and culture and where you're from, you suddenly I now know, oh, you have Igbo blood, oh, you have Yoruba blood, mm -hmm. oh, you, you know, and I'm start dissecting, I'm thinking, in fact, why it was, I thought at some point, I was like, what is, what, can I even recognize Nigeria again? Yeah, we're, yeah. we're questioning we're each scared. other because mm -hmm. of elections. Mm -hmm. And we see exactly the same thing. So you know what? Yeah. We're normal human beings. Yeah. We just have to make a decision as a nation not to use those things against each other. So you know what? Mm -hmm. We are one. We are a people. People can have this kind of uh, differences, differences, and some of them divide, but we can choose to stay together. It's a choice. Mm -hmm. And I think that, for me, that's a major lesson, that the U.S. of A had exactly the same issues that we had, oh. and we've seen the outcome yes. of their own elections. So I think, as, I think I'd like to end on that. But, Mr. Okay, well, let me let you find, uh, wrap up on this as we, as we move on. You have comments on social media? You want to take? Mm -hmm. Mr. Okay, well, yeah, any yeah, final okay. words? Final okay, words? Yeah, yeah.
Okay, so final words to fellow Nigerians would be, we have no other nation but us. Anything you are doing, you're working in the civil service in any of the ministries, department, agencies, you are into private practice, do it so well that, you know, you can be proud of Nigeria in, in the months to come, in the years to come. Let's begin to strengthen everything Nigeria, put the nation first in all, such that as a strong nation, very soon we can begin to relate with some of these big nations as equals and not as their subjects. Hmm. You know, where maybe they have to detect for us and go into their countries like you made it in life, even though many Nigerians struggle in some of those crimes. Let's change the narrative and begin to write the story by doing yeah. for ourselves the only thing that we can do for ourselves, and that is to transform Nigeria. America will not do that for us, whether it's Democrats or Republicans. It is their nation first. You know, there's something I want to say, and I'm thinking of how mm -hmm. to say it. I'm, like, I'm trying to be very politically collect. I'm thinking of it in my head, how do I articulate it where it doesn't come out the wrong way? Okay. Because I've always said this, and I've always said in different, different fora where I had opportunity to speak on this kind of issue. You know, we always try to force Nigeria, we are one. Mm -hmm. Don't look at your Igbo, don't look like your Yoruba, don't look at that, we are just Nigerian. And I keep saying, that's so incorrect. I must understand you as a Hausa person. I must respect you first, as I respect your culture, your tradition, where your history, what made you you, before I now say you're a Nigerian. Because if we continue to try to gloss over our uniqueness, we will continue to fall apart. And that forcing of, we are United States of America. No, there are still some people who are local. The guys from Florida are different from the guys from California. Mm. The guys from, from New Hampshire are different from the guys from Michigan. They are uniquely different, but they are the United States of America. So we stop, stop forcing, oh, Nigeria, Nigeria. Nigeria is important, but we must first of all acknowledge and understand that I am an Igbo person. I'm respect. proud Igbo. Respect me for my differences. Respect me for my uniqueness. Respect me for my tradition and my history. Then understand that, yes, I have agreed to be a Nigerian, to you. So we are united, but not because I am, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting who I am. If we begin to understand it individually, we'll not be forcing this, oh, let us all just be one Nigeria. Yeah, one Nigeria is great, but it must first of all come with understanding. All of us, you know, who we are. Exactly, otherwise. and it's so crucial. Mm. We have to go on a break now, but I think we can wrap up on this. Yeah. Um, there, so generally, um, really, we've learned our lessons and we've, hopefully we can take cues from this and know how to treat ourselves better. On a short break, when we come back, we continue with our show. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.